Who's going to win the consolidation race? We're going to find out next. The grass could not get any greener for those looking to sell their collision repair facilities right now. Why? Because new buyers added to existing buyers have created a tornado of activity. Who are these buyers? In the past 12 months, it seems there are new investment firms wanting to buy collision centers popping up all over the place. But these buyers are not created the same. Some are taking a very aggressive approach to buy 200 shops a year, while others just want to buy 10 a year. Some have large sums of cash available to them through private equity investors. These new buyers added to the existing buyers we all know, Gerber, Caliber, Classic, Crash Champions, Carstar, and Joe Hudson, have created a tornado of activity. What are some other reasons independent shops are selling? Short staff. Shops are offering all sorts of outside-the-box creative incentives to woo new hires, and yet all shops still struggle to keep a full staff. Labor rate suppression. There is not a market where it seems that labor rates are fair. The problem is in virtually every market in the United States. Suppressed labor rates create a snowball effect on all shops, including consolidators, hampering their ability to compensate properly, maintain a happy and positive culture, deliver a high quality product, and more. COVID financial stress. Many shops, especially ones in the North, Northeast and California, have realized reduced sales due to executive orders related to COVID capacities and shutdowns. Many shops have realized reduced sales as much as 50% in 2020, and that has carried into 2021. Some shops in the states with aggressive policymakers are still struggling. Insurance relations. There is not a body shop in the U.S. that does not struggle to get repair plans approved. These delays cost shops money through reduced efficiency and sales. This issue is by design to strong arm these shops. All time low profitability or flat out losing each month. Many reasons driving this include suppressed labor rates and efficiency caused by the ripple effects. Shop owner stress and frustration. This is at an all time high. Shop owners at natural age of attrition. Approximately 75% of shop owners are at a natural age for retirement and are realizing it's time to get out and reap the rewards of their lifetime of hard work and sacrifice. Shop owners feel like being an owner has become a prison sentence for a crime they did not commit. Who's going to win? We really don't know. It might end up that we have two large brands in the collision world. Strategy is going to be a big player in the winner of this race. Negotiating strategies with sellers. With a lot of outside the box and tried and true strategies, the playbook is constantly changing. Post letter of intent strategies. A lot of wild rides that have played out include renegotiating deals and or backing out and re-engaging. Announcement strategies. From extremely vocal public announcements to a complete lack of announcement to keeping their acquisitions quiet and in stealth mode. Watching the various players' moves is much like watching a football game. The strategies and the plays being made would make for the next great Netflix special. If you're thinking of selling your shop, reach out to Laura Gay of Consolidation Coach at 301-399-8675 or lauraegay at gmail.com. I'm Jason Stahl. Thanks for watching.